songs by Hank Snow, Brenda Lee, Perry Como, Pat Boone, Rosemary Clooney, Bobby Vinton, Roy Orbison, Willie Nelson, Floyd Kramer, Al Hurt, and many, many others. The group also recorded albums of the WLS. Wonderful. back in 1960, the client must have found a note in his pocket that said, eh, get something for the FM while you're at it. WLS FM in Chicago, 94.7. Okay, there you go, FM. Now, uh, Anita Kerr, by the way, moved to uh, Switzerland in 1970, although she continued to write and record in Europe. Not too many WLS DJs had Anita Kerr jingles that sang their name, but this guy did. WLS, the plays the best tonight. WLS, music swinging all the night. What a wonderful treat you'll get. You're gonna love his show. one of WLS's earliest stars. He pulled in huge audiences every night. He was famous for calling himself the Wild Eye Trallion. So if you want music with the beat, take this great big tip from us. This is the right thing, that's why we sing. You like the dick, the Andy Show. Beyond his other trademarks were uh, singing off key in between the songs, including his famous On Top of a Pizza song. Five fifty-five degrees in Chicago. And... Hey, the Dick Beyondy Show on WLS Radio. Roller skating makes the world go round. Bob Stem invites you to the beautiful Low Nor Skating Rink on Highway 51, just between Hancock and Plainfield, Wisconsin. Man, you'll have a ball at the Low Nor Skating Rink. <laughs> Beyond the show, Lincoln Junior High is having its civic study uh, elections on May 7th. Junior class of Harbor Springs will present the late Christopher Bean on May 3rd and 4th at 8 p.m. in the school auditorium in Harbor Springs, Michigan. As you uh, probably noticed there, by 1962, some new jingles had been added to WLS. It was the first appearance of Pam's jingles from Dallas as the station used Series 18 Sonosational.
Chicago. Believe it or not, those Series 18 jingles were used along with the Anita Kerr cuts, but it, uh, it seemed to work. In fact, those uh, Anita Kerr cuts stayed in use until uh, 1967 or 68, mixed with other jingles along the way. Well, Dick Biondi at WLS, and uh, at one point he talked about his time there. We had only 20 records a week to play at WLS in 1960. Very few people realize that. And we played those same 20 records over and over every single day. It was what we did in between that made the difference. And nobody had ever done that. Uh, screaming on the air, uh, Mort Crowley doing his funny bits. Uh, uh, and all of that made it different. I'm in a very structured, very tight uh, situation. But I've got to make whatever I do and whenever I get on the air sound as entertaining and original as possible. And one last thing about Dick Biondi, he was the first known DJ to play a Beatles record in the United States. Please Please Me debuted on the March 8th, 1963 WLS Silver Dollar Survey at number 40 on the chart. And uh, that's just one more thing you can thank WLS for. Of course, even with Biondi's airplay and enthusiasm for the song, the single didn't go anywhere. It fell off the chart two weeks later. I guess Dick Biondi was just a little bit ahead of his time. Radio, and uh, you've got uh, John Wolfert with you today. We have a, a special program all day long here. We are talking about the history and the jingles and the programming, everything we can think of relating to WLS Chicago. Rewound Radio keeps music and radio memories alive. You know why we do it? Because You got it. All right, let's get back into this. So uh, in 1964, WLS wanted to add some new jingles in the Anita Kerr style. I don't know why they didn't get uh, Anita Kerr to do them. Maybe she was unavailable or getting too expensive. After all, like uh, just a year later, she won a Grammy Award for Best Performance by a Vocal Group. So... WLS, pleased with the Series 18 jingles, commissioned a custom package from PAMS. You can tell that they were told to listen to the Anita Kerr package for inspiration, although, in fairness, no other vocal group had her iconic sound. We suggest that you join the happy Now, I know it's hard to envision those jingles on a top 40 radio station, but uh, somehow it all worked in with all that Midwest charm. And uh, I will tell you that uh, in the 60s, I was busy growing up to the sound of WABC in New York, and uh, I didn't really get to hear WLS very much unless we were out of town, because in New York we had WCBS 880 on the dial, just blasting away. 
But when you got out of town, you could pick up WLS just about everywhere. And uh, I listened to WLS. At that time, it really didn't sound to me anything like WABC. Then again, very little did. But uh, after, uh, after I moved from New York, came to Dallas, and could hear WLS on a regular basis, I did begin to understand that in its own way, it really was the WABC of the Midwest, if you will, but uh, with its own unique style and sound as it should be. We'll talk uh, more about that when we speak to our special guest, John Guerin, coming up here pretty soon. But uh, just to get back to the history lesson here, eventually the back half of the 1960s arrived, and most of radio was influenced by the style and success of KHJ in Los Angeles. KHJ was using nothing but a cappellas recorded by the Johnny Mann singers, and a lot of stations went for that all a cappella sound around this time. So did WLS, but they did it with Pam's. Quinn's still stuck at a theater, baby. WLS Chicago, 8.30 LS. More music time on the Riley Show in the second and three in a row. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy. Shakey's Gun of the West starts today at your favorite neighborhood theater. 89 WLS. LS, big break time, 8.37 on the Ron Riley Friday night. Oh, souvenir year, 1964. Ian Whitcomb from England came in. Like a latter-day tiny pimp singing Ray up high, remember? The wind east at 12 miles an hour. Now music and Art Roberts on WLS, ABC owned in Chicago. So that was quite a stark uh, difference, at least in my mind, going from those uh, Anita Kerr jingles and the uh, Pam's Anita Kerr-ish jingles to nothing but acapellas. 89 WLS plays more music. Now, I know that the trend in radio was to make things as concise as possible. But uh, I missed a little bit of the personality of the older jingle. 89 WLS Souvenir. Which is what the station called their, uh, their oldies. They were souvenir songs. So uh, it was the all a cappella sound. But then things did, did change in uh, 1969 and 70. WLS did use some uh, of the syndicated packages that Pam's had produced for stations like WABC. And in 1970, WLS asked Pam's to make jingles that were still concise, but had more to them than just being a cappellas. So a custom package was created that had the music tracks playing the 89 melody instrumentally before the call letters were sung. More music. WLS. There were also a lot of uh, name jingles done for the DJs in this era, including the station's morning man at the time. WLS. And, uh, oh yeah, what, what was that note in the program director's pocket? Oh, yeah. While you're down there, try to get something for the TV station. Where news comes from. So now we're up to the fall of 1971. WLS started calling itself the Rock of Chicago. So the new jingles that were made in the fall of 1971 took on a whole new sound. It was the Solid Rock Package. The Rock of Chicago. 
People in the radio industry either loved or hated that package. But I'll tell you something, I always thought that package sounded better on the air than it did on the demo. Windy City weather. It'll be fair through the night tomorrow, variably cloudy and windy for uh, Sunday, partly sunny. The low tonight should be 28, high tomorrow will be 40. Official Chicago temperature 35, and in the loop, I have 36 at WLS. JJ Jeffrey. Large G, Gary Gears is here, going to help us bring in 1972, just delighted for once in my six months here being at the Big 89 to see his face in the place and his feet under the seat. Let's bring on the super lady, number two. This is Carol King, and on our WLS Hit Parade Awards, she gets the votes as best new female of the year. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Gary Gear Show. WLS Chicago 102. And this is Big 89 hit number 09. That's nine from 1971. Flying with Big Davey Edmonds. You in the way and left me alone. Well, you know, we've been talking about the amazing nighttime reach of WLS's signal, and there's the proof. I recorded that air check in Dallas, which is 800 miles away from Chicago as the crow flies, and it sounds local. A mountain of music, the rock of Chicago is a mountain of music, the rock of Chicago is a mountain of music, the rock of Chicago is Let's hear it for the Rock of Rewound Radio. John Wolford, Rewound Radio. Well, that brings us pretty much up to the time when our special guest enters the picture.